Welcome back, Nerd Squad. My name is Roya Germani, and this is Top 10 Nerd. Harley Quinn is debatably one of the most interesting and alluring villains of comic book history. She's clever, she's talented, she has just the right amount of crazy, aka a lot, and deep down, she is just a misguided woman who acts out of love. This video was a fan request, so if you want to see more of what you want, be sure to leave us a comment down below. So let's take a deeper look into one of our favorite characters with the top. Top 10 Harley Quinn Facts In the number 10 spot, we kick off with Arlene Sarkin. If you want to know where creator Paul Dini got his inspiration from for the character of Harley Quinn, this woman is the answer. Dini and actress Arlene Sarkin were friends back in college. When Dini was working on developing a sidekick for the Joker, he claims to have been inspired by a role that Sorkin played on the TV show Days of Our Lives. Sorkin appeared in a dream sequence on the show as a court jester, and Dini used aspects of the jester's wacky personality to incorporate into his his new character. This also scored Sorkin the role of voicing the first Harley Quinn in Batman the Animated Series. <laughs> Coming in at number 9, Harley was never supposed to come back. That's right, what turned into one of the most memorable DC characters originally was just supposed to be a one-off. In September 1992, a character was needed in Batman the Animated Series to help the Joker infiltrate a testimonial dinner held in honor of Police Commissioner James Gordon. This role went to the single appearance sidekick of Harley Quinn. Reception for the character was so great that the writers did the smart thing and kept her around. Best decision they ever made. Next up in number 8 is her abusive relationship with the Joker. For those of you whose first encounter with Harley Quinn was the movie Suicide Squad, and I hope there aren't many of you, Harley and Joker's relationship appears to be all lovey dovey and flawless. However, this is not the case at all. The relationship is full of abuse and twisted manipulation, sprinkled with rare moments of genuine affection that keeps her coming back for more. The Joker has even sent Harley off in a rocket in an attempt to get rid of her distractions. Everyone, please. If your partner sends you off in a rocket, don't go back and help him track down his enemies. You bring that crap to the cops, if you're still alive. In the number 7 spot, we have her family. Maybe the ones to blame for Harley's deviance are those that were closest to her. Her family. Her mother Sharon had very little to do with Harley and was less than supportive of anything she did. Her brother Barry was a run down deadbeat with broken dreams of being a rock star. And her father Nick was a jailed convict, who obviously passed on just a few of his criminal tendencies to his daughter. The need to understand her dysfunctional family led Harleen Quinzel to become a psychiatrist, and ultimately that led her to the Joker. Way to go fam. Coming in at number 6 is the talent behind Harley. For new fans, Margot Robbie is the epitome of Harley Quinn, but the Joker's sidekick has a whole crew of talent that have helped her come to life on the big and small screens. Arlene Sorkin is the voice that started it all, but following her was the first live Harley appearance in Birds of Prey, where she she was played by Mia Sara. Following that, talents behind Harley include, but are not limited to, Tara Strong, notable for her work in the Arkham games, Grey Delisle in the 2009 Lego spin-off, and Megan Strange in flapper style The Brave and the Bold. Next up at number 5, we have her folk singer career. Yep, just like most DC characters, Harley has a ton of history and versions of herself, including a past career as a folk singer, duetting with Poison Ivy. I want you to just try and picture that. The story is by Elseworlds Comics, which serves to go beyond DC canon and investigate the alternate lives of the characters. In one comic, Lex Luthor is a pop music producer who signs the duo. Yeah, I'm just trying to picture both of them singing Riptide together on stage. Not really working. Up next at number 4, she was once an Amazonian. Issue 43 of the Countdown series saw Harley ditch the clown makeup in an attempt to clean up her acts. She found a home at an Amazonian women's shelter and trained to become a skilled warrior. Not that she wasn't skilled enough already, but she was actually doing quite well in her new life. But as they say, leopards don't change their spots and the pudding is just too delicious. So Harley decided to return to her old life. So close Harley, so close. 
In the number 3 spot we have her relationship with Deadshot. Looks like the Joker wasn't the only one being entertained by the Jester. To the surprise of many young viewers, in the animated Assault on Arkham movie, Floyd Lawton, more commonly known by all as Deadshot, returns to his room after a shower to find a naked Harley with a scratch that she needs help itching. I got an itch. I thought you could help me scratch, cowboy. The movie tried really hard to keep the scene teen friendly, but it took audiences aback nonetheless. It did create a bit of a stink, but come on, guys, you didn't see that one coming. Coming in at number two, Harley Quinn is a mama. This fact is easy to miss if you never picked up the comic Injustice Gods Among Us Year Two, which was based off of the video game with the same name. While fighting with Black Canary, Harley discovers that her enemy is pregnant with Green Arrow. Kid, so she stops fighting her and reveals that she herself has also had a baby with none other than Mr. J himself. Harley disappeared for about a year while she was pregnant, which the Joker never even noticed, and then she gave up her daughter to be raised by her sister instead, so she would never know who her father was. But as we've already established with Harley and her dad, crime seems to run in the family. And finally, in the number one spot, we have her same sex relationship. Despite being forever tied to the Joker, we already know Harley had a brief stint with Deadshot, so is the room in the sidekick's life for some lady loving too? This was another creation of the Elseworlds comics, and one that was really striking for its time. In 1998's Thrill Killer, the Joker is a woman named Bianca Steeplechase, so this doesn't really break the canon of Harley and the Joker together. And Harley remains a woman in this comic, in love with the Joker still, leading her into a lesbian relationship. This was an extremely radical area of representation for the 90s, where same sex relationships weren't really talked about in pop culture as of yet. And to make it even better, the relationship was not abusive, but rather quite respectful. So those were the top 10 Harley Quinn facts. Let me know in the comments section down below which version of Harley Quinn has been your favorite so far. My name is Roya Germani, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe so you never miss another nerdy list.